Nauru's government has ordered Medicines Sans Frontiers, MSF, to stop work there immediately, despite a physical and mental health crisis in the country. The medical NGO has been providing psychological and psychiatric services to residents, asylum seekers and refugees on the island since late 2017. MSF staff wrote to its clients on Saturday to tell them it could no longer offer them treatment because of an order from Nauru's health minister, who said the its services were no longer required on the island. MSF said in its letter that the order meant its mental health activities in Nauru must stop, effective today, Saturday, 6 October. We know this sudden news may be very difficult to hear and we deeply regret any challenges that this presents to you all of our patients, and to the community. The organization said it was seeking more information from the government, including the reason for its decision and what alternative services would be available. An MSF spokeswoman said later on Saturday that the government had asked on Friday that its activities stop within 24 hours. At this stage MSF wishes to reiterate our strong commitment to providing quality mental health care to all those in need on the island she said. We are extremely concerned that the health of our patients may be affected by this decision and urge the authorities to grant us permission to continue our life-saving work. The government could not be immediately be reached for comment. There have been growing calls for children and their families to be removed from the island to receive treatment. Some have already been quietly moved off the island, including to Australia, but about 90 children remain according to reports from last month. Dozens have been transferred to Australia under federal court order, including for higher-level mental health treatment as the crisis worsens among all age groups. The Australian authorities have argued against transfer recommendations in a number of cases, spending $320,000 on doing so in the last financial year, but has complied with orders.